Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It is my honor to present to the OSC Parliamentary Assembly the supplementary item number seven, draft resolution on the conflict in Georgia. This issue has been widely addressed within the OSC, including in the framework of the OSC Parliamentary Assembly, which adopted a resolution on the situation in Georgia at the annual session in Mon Monaco in 2012. The resolution we presented this year to reaffirm the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Georgia within its internationally recognized borders is in full adherence to the UN Charter and Helsinki Final Act. The resolution calls for the respect of the international law by the Russian Federation, including through the implementation of the European Union mediated ceasefire agreement of August 12, 2008, as well as the reversal of the illegal recognition of Georgian regions. Grave humanitarian and human rights situation inside the occupied regions is another concern addressed in the resolution. It calls for the unhampered exercise of the right of the forcefully displaced persons to return to their homes in safety and with dignity. While stressing the importance of constructive talks within the Geneva international discussions, the resolution emphasizes the need to establish international security arrangements in the occupied regions of Georgia and allow for unimpeded access of the European Union monitoring mission there. Conflict in Georgia affects not only my home country, but wider region and the whole European security architecture, as we witness continuous violation of the key tenets of the international law. Therefore, it is paramount that the Assembly keeps the issue of the conflict in Georgia high on its agenda uh, to ensure that the Russian Federation complies with the standards of international law and the rights of ordinary citizens are protected. With this, I call on the distinguished delegates to vote in favor of the resolution. Thank you.